Hello dear teachers, welcome to our Lingua T Club. In today's lesson, I will demonstrate a game which you have probably played with your students. But in my video lesson, you will see how you can adapt it and make your students guess the sentences. Do you guys remember the topic of our last lesson? What the topic of our last lesson was? Present perfect and the contrast of present perfect continuous and simple. Okay, so now we are going to practice it a bit. I will write down the sentences on the board. Okay, I will divide you into two teams. One person will stand with his or her back to the board. Okay, oh. other people will need to explain the sentence uh, by breaking it into some words. But you can't read the words in the sentence. Okay, you can show or explain. All right. Okay, so um, if I am standing with my back to the board, will I explain or my partners? Partners, partners. partners. okay. Can, if I'm explaining, can I translate the words? No, no of course not. I can, but can I show and explain? Yes. yes, okay, in English only. All right, so you three, no, no. Uh, Arina, um, Sadat and uh, Amir, you are in one team. Uh, Aruke, Medina, Ratmir, you are the second group. Mm -hmm. Can you stand? Okay, so uh, let me write the sentence. Okay, let's write it with the marker. Okay, explain. Good, okay. Uh, Amir was first, I guess, yeah? Yes. Okay, good. Change, next. So the next one. Stop. Good. Yeah, Medina was first. Okay. Arina Ratmir. Okay, start explaining. He can you repeat? Uh, he's been doing his homework in the library. Yes. He been doing his homework He's been doing his homework in the library. He has been. He has been. Um, okay, I will give uh, half points to each of you. Let okay. uh -huh. me anyway you guessed first and then uh, Arina corrected. So the next one. Mm. Just a second. Full sentence, full sentence. Okay, uh, preposition is not correct. At lingua for five years, yeah? Anyway, I will count it as a point. Uh-huh, next. 
Not that long. Medina was first, yeah. Uh, not in the exact correct order, but uh, she guessed. In the last sentence, okay. Simultaneously. Okay. Okay. You can take your seats. So who is the winner then? Three points, four points, and two points. Okay. And the first group is the winner. Great. Okay. Dear colleagues, if you haven't played this game before, I encourage you to do it. And if you're already familiar with the game, see how I adapted it with my higher level group of students. I love this game because it enhances students' collaboration and communication and also fosters teamwork and cooperative learning. Students work together to provide accurate and effective clues while the guesser relies on their teammates' communication skills to comprehend the hints. The guessing aspect of the game requires students to employ critical thinking skills. They must analyze the hints, make connections, between various pieces of information and make informed guesses. This encourages students to think creatively and develop their deductive reasoning abilities. So like in any other games, you need to provide a clear explanation of the game's rules and objectives. Ensure that students understand the roles and expectations of the guesser and the clue givers. Demonstrate a round of the game to familiarize students with the process. I hope my lesson was useful. See you next time.